three, two, we're live. This is 2OF Entertainment. Hey, we're back. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good, my friend. Doctor Phil, you you you're a doctor today. Yeah, apparently, from what what you told me, we we're going to discuss. I certainly am going to be one. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I was thinking uh, we all have a lot of fun, you know. At least uh, the hosts here in in, uh, in this wonderful channel. So. Um, but but sometimes we have to look at at the less bright side of life. Right. Uh, a lot of people are struggling, and and um, uh, well, we are not going to be Doctor Phil, are we? Um, I don't know because I'm not a fat bald Texas guy with a mustache. So no, I think. Ah, we're good. Ah. Yeah, I I just uh, read about him. He 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 was not from Texas anyway, but but um, yeah, I heard he was uh, a diva. I read a thing that said that twenty worst celebrities to work for, and they said he was one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the good thing is, is oh. that if people that work for me love it because you know we beat them regularly until their attitudes change, so it's good. So they like that. Yeah, yeah. No, I I just wanted to to take the theme. Um, you know when when people are uh, yeah had had having it down you know like um uh, there's a lot of people young people and older people who who has it very difficult these days right. uh, maybe always in, in in all societies but but um today we we have so much um noise around us you know and and uh, uh so i i have i have some uh, i've done some investigation okay i've, I've been playing i've been playing dr phil all right yeah so uh if we can begin with um uh the the world population review came out uh, earlier this year and okay. uh it has uh, ranked the the countries uh, for for a whole deal of uh, parameters, and and it's very um, very steady, and uh, yeah, a lot of researchers go uh, go good for them. So so, right. uh, um, but if we begin with drugs, okay. uh, no, and what I kind can of drug ask, do you want to begin with? You <laughs> usually the first one is for free, you know. Uh, there you go. Yeah, but 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 if you um, you know, just to build up and and under under what we're talking about, do you happen to know which country in the world who use uh, most drugs per um, America? Per, huh? America, USA has got to probably be the country that uses the most legal and legal drugs because all we do here is prescribe drugs to people. Yeah, but but it's a lot of drugs. It's not uh, these drugs. It's uh, how called it's drugs you're not buying at at the pharmacy. Right from you buying them from the street pharmacist. Yeah, and uh, the death rate. Uh, Per hundred thousand, um, per hundred k, yeah, is so high. I, you know, eighteen point eight. The wow. next con the next country is on uh, is Canada on six. Mm. Um, so so you you you're so far up. Um, it, it it's incredible. But um, uh, I've. I've been looking especially uh, of Finland. Finland uh, is the most uh, lucky, you know, uh, where, where people are most lucky in, in the world. 
and right. I'm happy, I'm happy, and so on. But um, as I've been going through this uh, this list, Finland is uh, on 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 the top twenty on on everything almost. So drug uh, use or drug non drug use? Uh, I'm sorry. So is Finland on the list for drug use or non drug use? Uh, use. Use. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and, but there's only uh, six people in the country, so if three of them use it, that's fifty percent of the population. So it's not like you know, like it's not like a real country where like you know, when you give a number, it's like oh, it's three hundred million people. You know, a little different. Like in China, if they said ten percent of their population is using it, that's yeah. pretty much the population of America. So you know, yeah. it's like yeah, it's a little different with the, with bigger and smaller countries. Yeah, but but it's close to it's forty nine thousand seven hundred and twenty two people when when this were, was done, who who uh, who has uh, problems with with um, with drugs, with, with drugs, and and uh, a bunch of them are also uh, taking overdose. Uh, I, you know, it's much higher than. For, for example, countries in in uh, southern uh, America, um, they also use drugs, but they don't die. Well, uh, it's because have... they sell them to us. So they use a little. They use the good stuff. They give us the crappy stuff. You know, <laughs> you know the people, the maybe, people in maybe. Colombia and Bolivia and Panama and all those places, when they when they when they take it, they're like, "This is good stuff." And then they're going to sell the stuff to the people in like America, North America, you know, the states. They're like, you can give them the shit stuff, and we don't care. So you know, I don't know. just saying. Yeah, Mexico, but they all but, good stuff. But but maybe El Salvador and uh, Guatemala uh, takes less, you know, uh, because they can't afford well, that much. I don't know. Well, for the little bit I know about drugs, so which is very little, I know that when it comes here. It has yeah. to be cut, which means you yeah. know, they, 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 get, they sell you this brick of, yeah. I'm assuming, okay. pure yeah. cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So if you're yeah. a cocaine dealer and you want to tell us, feel free to come on. Um, but yeah. they sell a pure brick of cocaine. Then it comes to, say, the America. And then somebody in their garage or a basement or their factory, right? Then they break the brick down and then they add whatever they're going to add to it. Yeah. And I think... Um, and I, I'm assuming it's out of the way with heroin. So I'm assuming the overdoses come from the impurity of it, not the purity of it. And I could be totally wrong because I am not a drug expert. So I'm just saying yeah. from the little bit I've heard and seen, it seems that most of the people die because um, it's impure. Yeah. Now, opioids are different. Opioids yeah. is just, that's a, they're just addicted. It's an overdose and they die. that's just crazy. Um, but if you're talking about illegal drugs, that seems that seems to be the issue. So, yeah. But but uh, going over from from that one to an anti uh, depressants, right? Uh, because that's also a very interesting uh, reading. Uh, again, uh, your country is uh, number one. Of course, we are. We're number one in everything bad. Yeah, right. but number two is. Iceland of all really? countries, yeah, wow. they are uh, just behind you. Um, and again, we have uh, Finland, so uh, and we have Norway, but Norway is uh, I thought the Finnish were like the happy, no one is the happiest people in the world, they're all high, they're high, and they are they are taking meds, you know, uh, yeah. And, and, and yeah, so so um, uh, but but uh. Another country that, that I've been looking at here is uh, Korea, and that's South Korea. Right. Um, you can't look at North. <laughs> they don't like that. No, so. no, no, I don't think North is in any, uh, yeah, in, in investigation on anything. Yeah. Uh, but but um, in, in South Korea, they almost take uh, nothing. Uh, well, that's because they have strict drug laws and they have strict laws and it's sort of like in the Middle East, like if you get caught, they just kill you. Like the trial's really quick. Oh, you were caught with this? We kill you. Okay. So, you know, if you're a drug dealer, let's say in the UAE or Saudi or Qatar or any of these countries yeah. and you get caught, the trial is swift. It's like you're guilty. Phew, 
you know, and when you're, if you're a drug dealer and you see that, you're like, mm, eh, it's probably not a place I want to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's but like, yeah, it's not the place. But this is given by doc. It's, it's, it's antidepressants. Yeah, but a lot of countries one. don't do that. Um, a lot of countries yeah. are like are in Asia, especially, right? They're all for, which yeah. I agree with, is more of like, you'll take some tea, you'll do some self-healing. Like they, yeah. they try yeah. to like, they, instead of like, oh, you're depressed, here, take this. They're more of, how do we fix you? Right? How do we make yeah. you better? Not let's just give you drugs to get you out of the office. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, there's a yeah. big difference it's, it's, in in Thailand too. too Thailand big on drugs, right? Thailand's big on here. You'll go do this. You'll go exercise. You'll do right. Most Asian countries aren't like they're not going to give you pills to pop. They're going to like okay. Oh, this is the problem. Yeah. We can fix. It. And, yeah. and I think that's a big problem in a lot of the developing world is we don't do that. We just pop, we give you like, here, here's some drugs. I'm getting a commission if I'm a doctor from the drug company yeah. or I'm getting a trip to yeah. wherever. So here's the drugs. Take the drugs. I don't care. I don't care. I saw that one with my mom too. When they don't, they don't kill you anymore. They just give you drugs. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's much more easy. And, and they have a lot of pressure and, uh, because they have to go on, on holidays for uh, yeah yeah for free, yeah. Uh, but yeah. but but there's one one thing I found very interesting, and that is uh, the last four years, right. Germany has risen the the anti uh, anti anti depressant depressant with really? 46 percent. Wow! For four years. Wow, that's crazy. So they are on 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 the way, but, but you know, some people I think some people want to be numbed or or or, or just yeah. But uh, there's other ways to numb yourself. I'm not saying like you drink a bottle of scotch, which I daily because that's part of my um. I have to. It's a doctor's order. Yeah. Um, but I'm not saying that some people you know smoke cannabis. I think there's other ways to numb yourself, like go for a run, like get the runner high. Yeah. Like there's things you can do to numb yourself. If your life's that miserable and, and unfortunately nobody wants to go talk to anybody cause they don't trust anybody. But if your life's that miserable, you probably should sit down with a friend or a professional, go see a priest as long as you're over 18, he can't molest you. Um, but go yeah. do something that, you know, will make you better, but we've become such a planet. And I don't mean this in a good or bad way. Just it's fact of pussies back in the day. Yeah. If you go look at the forties, fifties, sixties, and even seventies, people may be using drugs, but not like today. They were brought up to, you have to be tough. You have to be a man. Yeah. You have to be a woman. Yeah. Now they're brought up to like, Oh, you're feel, fuck your feelings. You know, put your big boy pants on, kick in the door, and get on with your day and everyone has a shit day or a shit life. It is what it is. Yeah. Go do it. And yeah, they but, don't. But, but, and that's part I, of the problem. I I see kind of a pattern here. I, I'm looking at my last uh, page now and, and then I'm, uh, uh, sure. I will, I will end my uh, uh, Dr. Phil career. But, but um, um, when, when you look at suicides, yeah. uh, you know, that's the last, uh, People don't talk with each other. It's, it, it says here, you know, and, and in mm -hmm. um, suicides in China is mostly older women who feel, really? um, yeah, uh, it's not that much, but but it, it, it's a very contrast with with many uh, Western country uh, because they they don't want to be of burden. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, if the children and uh, or, or or the husband or whatever, it, it's a sort of a thing in China that when you're old, uh, I don't know. Uh, That's weird because I thought China was one of these things where the you know like Japan, Japan, yeah. and the rest of the Philippines, where they all kind of take care, they all live together, you all take care of each other. I'm not. I didn't realize that they thought they were a burden. Um, so yeah, that must be something new. It must be new because they're getting very westernized now, where you yeah, don't have a family yeah. compound, you don't live together as a family, the kids move and they don't come back and take care of their mom or their dad. So that's a different thing. I do I do yeah. like the idea. I know when I was growing up, um, you know, when my grandparents got to a point where they couldn't take care of them, I know that 
like one set of grandparents moved in with one set of kids and the other grandparents moved in with someone else and everybody took care of the grandparents. And when my mom got old, she moved in with me. It was like, all right, come yeah. you'll live with your son. And I was like, that's yeah, my job is to take care of you. You took care of me. I take care of you. That's the way of, that's the, that's the deal. When you come out of the womb, that's the deal you sign, whether you know it yeah. or not. So I think um, what today is it's everyone's about me, 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 not let me help my family. Yeah. Yeah. And that's bad. Um, and for once, uh, United States are on, on uh, not on the, but, but on, on, on the main, they have a lot of uh, rows here, you know, uh, but right. in, in, in uh, they are on 22nd place or whatever. Uh, well, that's good. At least we're not in the top 10 for suicide. So, yeah. So, uh, but. Of European countries, you have Lithuania, uh, and um, I've been in Lithuania myself. Uh, yeah. Now you know why they commit suicide, sure. No, yeah, but because they they have two or three jobs to yeah. to to cope. Uh, right. Both the male and the female, or whatever it's called in between. You know, you know what I mean. Right. So, uh, but but I I think it's very sad that um that people are, are doing this to to take their own life because they are uh, they're not thinking about um it's it's the most selfish thing you can do really because the maybe i don't i don't know. I, mean, I, the, I know three people that have taken their lives yeah and so was but, it selfish to them I don't know if I would say it was selfish. I know I was more no. annoyed that they didn't call. I don't mean yeah. that like you hurt my feelings, but it's like, I'm like, one was my business partner and I was like, okay. And so he, like, I remember I spoke to him a couple of days before and then I, I was like on a Monday we spoke and everything was fine. And like, Hey, we have to go to London. We have to do this deal, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then on Saturday morning, his wife called me. And I was like, yeah. is it like his birthday? Am I missing? We're having a surprise party. And uh, she told me that she, he killed himself in a hotel room. Yeah. And I was like, I'm sorry. I, I like April fools type of thing. And she's like, he killed. I was like, wow. I'm thinking I speak. I spoke to you on Monday. We text every yeah. day. And whatever yeah. happened between the time we spoke Monday, which was a good call to the, all yeah. our texts were great to you commit, you kill it. Like what the hell happened? And I'm thinking, so I wasn't, I was, a, I was, you know, I was, a, I don't know if I was annoyed or upset or numb. I was like, dude, we've known each other 20 years. Why yeah. didn't you just call me? Like, and talk to me. I mean, what was so overwhelming that you couldn't pick up the phone? I think that when I hear someone kill themselves, that's what annoys me is why didn't you yeah. talk to somebody? How are things that bad? Like communication. Yeah. Like what, what's so bad about that? So that was, I thought, yeah. I thought that was very interesting. For me. Yeah, yeah. So, well, yeah. well, I, I, I just wanted to, to, uh, to pass by these, these themes because yeah. they, they hang so closely together, and um, we are getting worse uh, decade, uh, you by know, decade. By, 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 by decade, and we yeah. have to do something with, with because it says, what it says to me is that. The society uh, we we both know that society, society is getting uh, uh, more difficult. Uh, let's yeah. say say it like that, and and more weird for for the people who's been living some years. But it seems like uh, a lot of young people are are are, are committing suicide, and that mm -hmm. for me is maybe the saddest thing uh, you can do. You have your whole life. And just because you you are uh, you know you have a heartbreak or whatever, you will find right. a guy or girl again. But again, it's the communication thing. Right. Uh, well, the I lack think people of don't communicate. Communication. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. It's not like it used to be where you talked. You had a buddy. I mean, I guess they do, but they text. Nobody. I don't want to text. Like I had someone no. text me something yesterday, and I really, I literally wrote back like, "What the fuck, man? Pick up the phone." Yeah. And then they yeah. called me. And I was like, look how much easier that is. And they're like, oh, I was like, don't like texting is fine for like, I'm running late. Where do you want to have for dinner? Where do you want to meet for dinner? You want to go see a movie? You know, do you want to go to an orgy? That's what texting is for. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah. 
right? That's texting. If you, um, when people start sending me a book, if it's more than a paragraph, I don't give a flying rat's ass what you wrote. I don't give a shit about your feeling. I care nothing about what you just wrote me. Leave me a voicemail yeah. so I can hear it in your voice or you wait till we speak and you can tell me. But if you're going to write me a 57 page war and peace novel, don't care. Yeah. Because if no. it's that important, then you can leave it. I'd rather you leave me a five minute voicemail and I go, okay, yeah. I, I hear all the inflections now in your voice. Now I know I, when I respond, what I'm responding to. If I read something that goes, you hurt my feelings, you did this, you did that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, great. It's like, it's like reading the Financial Times in the morning. It's just a bunch of words on paper that mean nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you because know, they write a but, book and it's like, I feel, and they go, but I feel better. I go, you feel better if you leave a voicemail too. I tell my business partners but, the same thing. They'll write me a text about something. And I'm like, yeah, it's 937 pages long. I'm not reading this shit. And now I don't mind if you send me, if you send me an email, I'll read it. But if you send me a text message, that's like a book. I'm like, no. So if they've learned now when they, if it's important, they'll say, they'll give me like this one little set, like a sentence, like yada, yada, yada. And then behind the next thing is like, whether it's a one minute or a five minute voicemail on WhatsApp, yeah. then I have the voicemail and they're like, -dum, and I can, now I can respond. But when I read something about whatever, I'm like, I don't know if you're angry, if you're mad, you're trying to be funny. I have no clue. Yeah. And I and I got to a point now where I just don't, re I'm like, I'm not even going to read it. You know, just call them up and go, what's your problem? Like, tell me. And they'll go, I wrote it. I'm like, yeah, and I'm not reading 750 pages of text. So, But that's the problem I, I, today. I agree. People can't, you can't, if someone goes, I want to kill myself on a text message, okay. No, no. What do you want me to, like, pick up the but, phone, like, call them, talk to somebody, right? I don't think you can save someone by text. No, but, but I, I read uh, during these uh, reports, I, I, I read yeah. some um, uh, afterwards uh, from, from a psychiatrist. And, and what he is saying is that people don't speak anymore. Uh, Correct. Uh, people, don't, people don't talk anymore. And right. if you have that great of a problem, maybe we could save a life or two today and we, we've been... Uh, we have done something good. Talk to yeah. someone. Uh, well, in I, America, I, we have, I think you dial 811 for suicide hotline. Like, you can literally use your cell phone and go, I think it's 811. I'll double check same, while we're talking. Same in Norway. Yeah. So. Not not, not the same number, but, but yeah. <laughs> you can talk to, you can talk to, um, you can talk to somebody. In, so I'm not sure. What you know? Why you can't? Which I'm sorry. It's nine eight eight. It's the suicide okay. and uh, crisis line. It's nine eight eight. They're available twenty four seven, and they do Spanish and English. Yeah. There you go. So, and they'll talk to you no matter what. So that's kind of my and, point, though. And yeah, know. but 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 also this psychiatrist says that. Uh, while you are in in uh, balance, right? Learn learn this now. Talk about it because if nobody is talking about it, it, it will be more. Uh, you know, th they are saying that it's uh, contagious. If if one right. one is taking the life, uh, uh, there will be uh, others. A couple of uh, uh, others. Right. Uh, but if you if you really talk more and, and uh, how are you, you know, that, that's, you, you don't use that because, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not that good. It's very yeah. seldom. But, no, I hear but more, nobody listens though. You know, we did this thing when we were at university, <laughs> people would go, how are you? And I had a friend yeah. we'd be walking and they'd go, Hey, how you doing? He'd go, ah, I'm going to kill myself. People go, Hey, that's great. Have a wonderful day. When you talk, People don't listen. So when yeah. we did that, I made uh, now I make it a point that no matter what, I pretend they may not be listening, but I hear everything that people are saying. But I was like, wow, like people really don't listen. And it's amazing. Yeah. If you go out and start saying, if someone says, hey, how you doing? And you go, I'm going to kill myself. People are like, that's great. They don't, because they don't hear it. Or they may go, I'm sorry, what'd you yeah. say? And you go, no, I'm having a great day. They're like, oh, okay. It's like yeah. people just don't listen. So part of the problem is, and I feel bad for the kids, the kids growing up is that, yeah. you know, their parents are into the phones because, because they think they're important. 
Um, and the only people that are important <laughs> are the people that are trying to cure cancer. Like, let's just be, let's just be real. Yeah. Everyone else, yeah. you're not that important. Put your phone down. They don't have dinner. Yeah. When I was a kid, and I'm sure you did too, we all had dinner together. So my mom no, and dad would say, like, how was your, like, like, how was your, how was your day? Whether you were five years old or 15 year olds, how was your day? Day was good. Yeah. The day sucked. School was this. This teacher was a dick. Whatever it was. And everybody, yeah, how was your day? Yeah. So you got to speak. Now the family unit, and I'm sure there's families that still do that, but the family unit isn't the family unit. The family unit is, hey, what's going on? Yeah. Hey, what's going on? And, and your kids at yeah, university, yeah. It, you know, they would either write you a letter or they would call you on the pay phone. Now if the mom goes, how are classes? Class, good or bad? Ticket, 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 boom. Ticket, 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 boom. So they it, don't, nobody crazy. talks. Yeah. So yeah. for as much as technology is advancing us, and which is what the Illuminati and the lizard people want, because they can just take yeah. over the world that way. It's not really doing yeah. any good to keep people sane, which is very bad. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, because people don't, whatever. I see kids today at dinner and they're there with an iPad and they could be five years old or 10 years old and they're watching. And I'm not talking like some shit restaurant. I'm talking like a, yeah. a restaurant that's yeah. like, where, you know, the, the meal is going to cost real money and you have to dress. Yeah. And the kid's there with an iPad watching cartoons. And I'm like, when I was a kid, I had to be engaged with the conversation or sit there and behave, not watch a fucking movie. And but that's even- part of the problem. Even if you go with 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 the kids to a fun fair or, or what, yeah. what 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 you call it in in you know in in, in uh, carnival, yeah, or, uh, where, where where something is happening and fun yeah. and some of them are still holding on, on that their phone, yeah, shitty phone, and it's uh, it's that is contagious. So so we have to start talking with each other. That's what also what this um, this um, shrink said that the communication and the coding and decoding, as you said, you can hear with with a trained ear or with, with a low trained ear. You can hear if something is wrong, but, but you can't does. see. You can't see it on on the way they are uh, texting. <laughs> yeah. It's impossible well, because you have nothing to code. Well, and part Decode. of the issue is 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 the issue is is and we always talk about parents, but it really is like I don't think a kid should have a phone until they're sixteen. Full stop. Right, and even then, I'm I'm fifty fifty on that. Maybe when they're eighteen. But there's no reason for a kid to have a phone. If you're worried that Johnny's going to get lost or kidnapped, it depends how much you love Johnny or Susie, right? If you don't love them that much, eh, they don't need a phone. Um, but they have phones, like the old-fashioned flip phone that you can put mom's number, dad's number, the police, grandma, grandpa, and that's it. There's no texting. And I'm okay with that stuff. I mean, I don't think yeah. kids texting, I mean, that's great, but why can't you pick up the phone? When I was a kid, if I wanted to talk to my buddy, I'd call him on the phone. And we'd sit on the phone and yeah. we'd talk, or I'd be like, we're going to go outside and play. We go play. We go do. Yeah, but they don't yeah, even do yeah, that yeah. now. It's like, I don't, no. you and I talked about this. It's not, kids aren't playing. So a lot of the suicides for like people to say under 25, I think yeah. there's a lot of it is phone. A lot of it is yeah. the other thing I read an article about internet bullying. And I was like, first of all, yeah. if I have a kid and they told me somebody's beating them up on Facebook, first of all, get the frig off of Facebook. What the hell are you on that for? Right. And yeah. then, if that and it's like it's not I don't get it I don't understand then and we don't teach the kids anymore you know like sticks and stones will break your bones names won't hurt you we teach the name the yeah. names don't hurt you you can call me every name in the book I don't give a shit yeah sticks and stones I care because that really hurts but a name is a name it is a bunch of letters yeah. put together that makes a sound who cares yeah. And we don't teach the kids that. We teach that, oh, you're sensitive. You have, you have no feelings. You're a little biological carbon piece of shit until you're 21 years old. Learn it now. And you are going to be molded into an adult and a person. And if we, and unfortunately, back they complain about how we were brought up. You know, you got, you got smacked. You got this. You got that. But you want to know something? We're all still here. Yeah. Most of us. And we're not. Yeah. My point is that we're still yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. And, and our mentalities may not be politically correct. But at the end of the day, when there's stress to cope with and there's issues and there's problems, you don't see my generation breaking down and crying and I can't handle it. We're like, fine. We'll, just, we'll take care of it. We'll do it. Because that's how we well, were done. I'm, I'm partly, uh, I'm most, uh, mostly agree with you. But, but 
there's something with all generation, I think, in 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 all um, uh, you know societies and and, and generations that are mm-hmm. wrong. But then, very often there were there were uh, a wise older guy or. or he could Thank be you. younger for for for, for, for my. Uh, oh, I could go. I'm going you with know, the younger wise. You know, yeah. yeah, yeah, but 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 you you can you could go to something someone. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 in this generation, I don't see any any um, uh, you know even opening a package for for mm-hmm. for, for the birthday. Yeah. I remember I, w- I was smiling all the way around, you know, yeah. and, and I got got uh, some shitty thing. <laughs> it's no, Norway. Not of course shitty, you can get but... something. She got like a reindeer or something. I know. <laughs> a living reindeer. In, in a living this, reindeer. Yeah. Like, yeah, great. Good. I got another reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and, it, and it's raining outside as well. But, but right. um, nowadays, oh, for 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 christmas okay you know no no thank you no no not even faking i i remember i had to fake yep oh if you got a crappy gift you'd have to be like this is the greatest gift in the world because you know why they're all so busy filming it they want to film it because it doesn't happen if it's not filmed that's why and also the gratitude that yeah you you give me something and then I don't want to say oh no I wanted another color yeah. I want I didn't want the blue one I wanted the yellow one yep. that's crazy I remember, I remember when I was a kid my neighbor back in the day Life magazine had these life books about sea and the planets and all this stuff right and I was really into space but for the holidays the space book didn't come yet. So my neighbor gave me as a gift, like they came over for the holiday, like grabbing it, but they, they gave me the underworld sea life, whatever. And I got oh. it. And I, in my mind, I'm looking at this going, I don't give a crap about this. I want one on space, but I was like, Oh my God, thank you so much. And I, and I, and I literally after dinner sat down and read it and they were like, you could just see, they were just, Oh my God, he loved the book. He loved the book. And then after they left, I said to my mom, I go, why isn't it on space? And my mom was like, "You did very good." It's like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Someone went out of the way, and I realized. Listen, me as a kid, I realized they went out of their way. They bought the book. They wrapped the book. They put it yeah. in a box, yeah. whatever. Yeah. They brought it. They to the wrote. House, they wrote. Know, they, right? wrote they wrote the note in the card. So they spent whether they spent a minute or they spent an hour. They did something yeah. that they didn't have to. And so yeah. I'm not going to sit there and throw a temper tantrum. I think no. I was like 10. I was like, thank you. This is awesome. It's great. I stuck it in my, my, yeah. my library. Like when, the, yeah. when my friend would come over with his parents, I'd be like, there's your book. And they knew I read it mm. because I would be, mm. and, and it was like, but they don't do that today. Kids are just like, oh, they do this. They're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I got a gift. I filmed it. Okay. Like, I don't <laughs> care. It's like, it doesn't matter. Uh, We're all about, people are all about things. We're not about things. We should yeah. be about people. Things are nice. Yeah. Listen, we talked about yeah, this on yeah, another show. Yeah. Money's a great thing because yeah. money, you know, brings an occasional smile to your face. But at the end of the day, even rich people are not happy. You know what I mean? Some of yeah. them want to kill, kill themselves and they do. And poor yeah. people go, oh, finally had money. Fine. Yeah. But really at the end of the day, what you need is somebody that if you need to vent to and talk to, that's yeah. what you need. And you don't need opioids. You, you don't need this. You, know, you don't need that. You need, a, you need someone to talk to. You need a song. You need a friend, or, or you know. Yeah. I, I I got a friend. You you need a friend. You got a you got a friend in me. I, that's why I have a dog. That's why I, when I have a problem, I talk to my dog. She gives me all the answers. So, I have yeah. a cigar. Take the dog with me, and the dog. I go. I tell the dog the problems. The dog looks at me like, eh, "You're gonna feed me and rub my belly." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm gonna, eh, we're good." And that's it. That's it. That's the best. It it doesn't say too much, but but then you have the language body uh, of, of of your. Uh, oh yeah, they have the dog language. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to use that. I'm afraid my dog will tell me what she really thinks. Um, but no, I mean, I think sometimes you just need to vent. And so, and we've talked about this on other shows. For me, my venting, if I'm really that annoyed or pissed off, I will get my cigar and a scotch. Mm. And I'm not talking like a. I'm just talking like a drum and a scotch, and mm. go sit mm. outside. 
And for whether it's a 30 minute holiday or a two hour holiday, yeah. depending on the smoke that I grab. And by the time I'm done, I'm good. Like nothing, yeah. I don't care. The world can come to it, I'm all good. And so what I'm saying is sometimes you just need to find your happy place. It's not gonna be in yeah. antidepressants that your your psychologist gives you because he's a fucking idiot. And these drugs yeah. that they give, they don't have a clue. They're getting paid by whoever. Oh, yeah. You need yeah. to find yeah. as a person your happy place. I, yeah. I had a buddy of mine when I, we used to run. If he was feeling depressed or whatever, he'd be like, dude, I'm going for a run. I'm like, really? We just ran this morning. You're like, yep, yeah, going for a run at three in the afternoon. I'm like, oh, he's had a tough day. Sometimes, and the other is like playing. I have a buddy, when he was depressed, he'd call me and go, can we go play golf? I'd be like, sure. I would, I would tell my PA, I'm going to play golf. And I would literally just leave the office. And if I could, and we'd go play golf together. And by the end of the golf thing, he was fine. We didn't have to talk about what was bothering him. I just knew if he was playing golf and it wasn't yeah. on a yeah, Saturday yeah, or Sunday yeah, morning, yeah, and it was yeah, during yeah. the week, there was a problem and he just needed somebody yeah. to go play golf with him. Yeah, And that's yeah. what people need today. They just need that outlet. And I don't exactly. think they have it because nobody's ever taught them that one, you don't need drugs. You don't need this. You don't need, I think they just need an outlet. So what we'll do on our show is we'll put this in America. We'll put the suicide 988 number below. So if you're contemplating yeah, please, God forbid please, suicide please. and you need someone to talk to, you can call please, um, suicide please. prevention. Um, and then in other countries, you'll just have to look it up. But yeah, but I, I think yeah. that's the problem is they just don't know who to talk to. And I, it's not that. Yeah. And, 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 and you can also talk to yourself because if Correct. I know, you know, you know, uh, uh, living is a graph, yep. you know, uh, uh, you go up and, and down. And when, yep. Yeah. And, and when you're up, you you think it will never end, but it, it will. <laughs> we both you and me know. Right. It, it, it's the up, same. It's never going to end. And when you're down, you'll think it never ends. And life just ebbs and no. flows, and you can have ups and downs. But but I've learned something in from from business because in in business it's always like this right. as well. If if you're not that clever as you are, no, I'm kidding. Uh, it, it's it's always up and down. And right. I know when when I'm. On the way down, uh, I sort of uh, take my 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 uh, my uh, brain on uh, hold. You know, right. uh, okay, you don't want to dump deep down in 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 into this. So then I talk to myself, and I'm saying this will go over. It r really easy things that you are. If you're talking to your own own brain, mm -hmm. several things can happen. They can come and collect you with white, uh, uh, you know, white jackets, uh, sure, <laughs> white jackets. But you can also talk inside of you, so you don't have to yes. talk um, uh, loud. People. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, but, but you can talk to yourself. You can you yeah. can say to yourself, uh, okay, this time uh, I don't I don't feel good. It's going down, but I'm, I'm not going further down now right, right. because you can prepare to, mm -hmm. for, for a soft landing and then you're on your way up. Yep. You, you can, you, you can say it, it's the opposite, like the, uh, grandpa, you know, right. because when he's up, there's no yep. ending. But if you say yourself, it's going, the, uh, it's going to end soon. But I'm going yeah. to enjoy it as long as I can. But it will end, and it will flatten out, and it will go down. So, so yeah. you don't have this uh, very boom, boom, boom yeah. that will destroy any uh, any uh, psychology uh, yeah. mind. You got to you got to enjoy the ride. Either the lows and the highs, you have to enjoy them all. The lows teach yeah. you, the highs teach you, and you just have to enjoy it. But once again, we're not teaching people today well i don't care how old you are no, and what no, sex you are no. we're not teaching them that it's okay to be down you don't have to kill yourself you don't need drugs you can do other things to get out of yeah. it it's just that no one's teaching them that all they teach is let's take you to the psychologist and let him give you drugs yeah, yeah. you need opioids you need to no you don't you know do what you need is a swift kick in your ass and you probably yeah. need to get your ass out of your house and go look at the sun and go exercise and do things to make you feel better or talk to somebody and that's, yeah. like I said, whether it's suicide prevention or a priest yeah. or anybody, yeah. if you have a friend, talk to them, talk to your dog. But yeah, I mean, yeah. I just yeah. think, I think it's just, 
I think our society today has just become, we want everything easy, 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 easy. And it's not, it's a very much different world that you don't get it as or, easy as we would like it. Or another thing, get occupied. Yeah. If you're occupied, like, you don't like have France time. And Poland. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 you, you can take lesson in French. Uh, no, no. I mean, so when you said get occupied, I'm talking about when Germany invaded France and Poland. Oh, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I pronounced it uh, bad, yeah? Yeah, it's okay. No, but you're right. You could learn a language. Do something. Like, if you get your mind off of your problem, it's amazing how they yeah. go away. Yeah, yeah, You can't yeah, do the yeah, woe yeah. is me thing. Like, and why, I'm, when not, I have, I, I'm not a world champion, but, but I know this because I, I learned a a lot in where, where, uh, all, all, all the times I was in in hip, hypnosis because right. I know we can we can fix ourselves up here yeah. if we if we have the right key. But you have nine thousand keys for yes. one door, and yeah. you can't stand up there and and, and uh, you know you, you have to have a yeah. co code and uh, color and whatever uh, to 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 find. Maybe you have to. Uh, Try ten, but that, that that's enough, and then you can open and and, and get help from yourself. Yeah. We, we are we are self healing. We, yeah. we, we we have it all. We are born with most of us with with with, with the same capacity. We, uh, if school went wrong, doesn't matter in right. uh, uh, afterward. Uh, if you, if you're working as a, a doctor or or a, a tr truck driver, so what? Yeah, yeah it's you're just, coping. It's, yeah, it, and that's what people have to learn. You have to learn. It's okay to cope. You won't have much quality. I, f I remember every time you go to the doctor or the hospital, they always say, "Do you have suicidal thoughts?" And I like yeah. to screw. And I like to. I screw around with them. I go only on days that end with a Y. <laughs> and they have no idea of what to do with that. And I'm like, mm. they look at you like, what? And I'm like, figure it out. It's like, you know, listen, I'm sure everybody once a month, once a year, once a decade looks and goes, man, I just, I, that's it. I'm done. I want to just kill myself. And then it leads and then you're done. Like, so you know, I, if I literally, every time I thought to myself, this, I'm just going to, I'm done and kill, I would have been dead like 12 million times. And then yeah. I'm like, yeah, 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 I can't be by. I got things to do. So, you know, it's like one of those things. It's like, ah, oh. and it's like, all right, we're good. You go forward. And that's it. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, and we have to teach people how to do that. If, if you're coping, it's enough for, yeah. for, uh, for, for a period because you know you will jump up yeah. again. Yeah. You, you just know it. It will happen. Life so, ebbs so, and flows. Yeah. But if you... Take your own life when, when when you're down. You don't think you can go any deeper, uh, or, or or whatever. But right. there's always hope. There, I agree with that. I agree. There's always there's always a glimmer of something that you can yeah. say. We can go from A to Z. So I agree. I think that's and it. Talk, I think that's and that's and, goodness. Yeah. And talk to people. God I damn it. Talk to strangers. I, I, I'm, go yeah. to the park and just talk to strangers and wear pajamas, and I think you'll feel better. We we have a band in Norway. I, I, I like them very good. They have the name Dance with a Stranger. I like that. Go to very go, nice. go go to dance and dance with a stranger. Yeah. Last time I did that uh, though, I, I got thirty days in the county jail. But uh, different. Story. I know. So. <laughs> that was, but that but that was when you had the white van, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's a, that was when we were like, "Would you like some candy?" And it's a whole thing, and it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. White vans so. are, are, are not good. Uh, we, we're, we're not laughing about this theme, but we, we are the ad hoc show, so we we have to talk about um, things that are. It is important to. Correct laugh about all faces in life even i uh, uh on the coming friday i'm going to a terrible f uh, funeral because it's a young guy uh he he didn't uh, do it on on purpose it was an accident but right. but but you always have to be prepared for the un unprepared right. you, you know for for for, for changes and the changes happen so fast. You, you, 
you can't plan this. Yeah. You can't plan anything. You and have to cry every if, if, moment. And if you want to cry, and cry. other people, uh, uh, other people are looking, just cry. Yeah, it's no big deal. Men cry. I remember when I was a kid. They go, men don't cry. Men cry. It's okay to cry. Men cry. Men yeah, cry. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. And you have to remember, enjoy every moment because as quickly as you came is as quickly as you go. You're not going to live forever. And stop with your phone and pictures and whatever. Yeah, yeah, enjoy yeah, the yeah. moment. Enjoy that moment. You want to take pictures after you've enjoyed the moment? That's great. But enjoy yeah. the moment, not stick your face on the phone because then the moment's gone. And that's yeah. why I was and, and, enjoy the moment. And please take picture when you finish eating. That's right. Of, of, Show us the of empty only plate. the plate. Right. The, the, the empty plate. Way, right? There you go. Yeah. And the hot waitress. That's what we want to say. Yeah, we don't care about your food. So. No. And on that... Everybody have a wonderful week. And once again, we're gonna in the United States, we'll put the suicide prevention number below. If yeah. you need someone to talk to, please call them. Um, and if you're in another country, please check where you get online, where you talk to, to talk to somebody. And if you don't want to talk to them, talk to a friend or a relative. And you can add your comments here on the show. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah. And that's it. And we hope you all have a wonderful week. And if you want to listen to us on the podcast, wherever you get your podcast, you can go to Two Old Farts Making Noises, literally TWO, Old Farts Making Noises, and look for the Ad Hoc Show. And you can listen to us if you don't want to look at us. And you can see all our other shows there as well. And that's it. Morton, it's always a pleasure, my friend. I will see you, um, well, I see you, I will see you tomorrow with uh, um, Actually, uh, Crazy yeah. Grandpa. But then I'll see you next week for Ad Hoc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In in uh, in Norway, then you 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 come over. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll be there tomorrow. I'm flying over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, my friend. Remember, we'll see you later. Yes. remember, it's only only two people at the airport. Uh, I was just going to say, around. Norway is only that. There's only seven in the whole country, so it's easy to find you guys. So I'm good. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe and like everybody. We'll see you all next week. Cheers. Cheers, now.